The original concept of this wasn't about growing carrots, it was about growing community. It was about bringing people together so people met each other and got to know each other and that builds that cohesion in the community, it builds people knowing each other and walking down the street and saying, hey, hello, how are you? And that makes the place safer. So it start, sort of started with people started thinking of what they'd like to see in the community, but then we, we man, managed to get it changed around to what do you think you could do in this community? So it wasn't just what can be done for you, but what can you do in this community? I'm just really proud to be able to have such things to belong to. I've been in the area 26 years and I've never felt such a belonging anywhere until the community initiatives that have come up to play so. We've had right from the, the littlest preschoolers, um, toddlers who've been coming in and build, doing their garden right up to the older people in the community. So it's, it's facilitated um, all those people working to a common goal and bringing them together and making them feel useful in the community. And they can come by here and other projects that are happening in the community and feel a sense of pride and ownership of their community. From a health perspective, you know, I think it's coming to the sense that that the health dollar can only go so far and there's got to be people working on ground level provide some other things that that are actually providing health promotion but health support within the community as well. well maybe I will. Safe growth is a two-fold with concept, so we work with the community. Um, and we do things, uh, we actually get the community doing things for themselves rather than outsiders doing it for them. So, and it's about perception of safety and uh, urban development, safety within parks and, and entrapments and things like that. The outcome we're looking for is when there's a real sense of community ownership and community empowerment where they actually really can identify issues in the community but have really good knowledge in that built in that they can actually start working through how to actually resolve those themselves. Mm. And, and if it's too big for them, that's fine. They know where to go, go to go to and get, get that, that support. That support yeah. And so there's a really good community structure there where you've got lots of different groups doing their thing, but they come together collectively mm. in the likes of neighbourhood support or safe growth type forum or community association forum so that they are binding that community together and then there's that support structure underneath with the, the agencies and that there. But the real ownership has to lie with the community and when you get that point, it's sustainable and, and that's what we're aiming for. Start to